classroom. Now let's begin. Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. It's bright lights. It's game time, baby. You ready for this, Tyler, Jaleen, and CJ? You guys look good in blue, but you look good in life, too. Teachers, you're already talking trash. That's what this game is. It's good trivia and good trash talking. Welcome in, everybody. It's the students today against their teachers from Pfeiffer Middle School in Camden County, New Jersey. They're in my classroom now to show the pitch students against their favorite teachers. Hey, cheering sections rock when they show up. These guys did. I've been here in this front row. It's winner take all in the cash and bragging rights today. Before we even meet our contestants, we're starting this game with a P.O.P. quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. I'm so excited to play today. Let's get right into it, guys. Buzzers are in hand. Teachers, students, good luck. What is the name for the type of tooth decay that develops into tiny holes that a dentist will treat with a filling? Miss Nelson. Cavity. Cavity. Hope you never had any. Nacho cheese, spicy sweet chili, poppin' jalapeno, and cool ranch are all flavors of what chips by Frito-Lay. Miss Moore. Doritos. Doritos is right. Students, let's get you guys a little quicker on the buzzer. I hear you clicking over there, but you got to beat the teachers. In the novel, Holtz, what is the name of the juvenile detention center where Stanley is sent to dig holes? One second. The answer here, Camp Green Lake. Extra credit question. Let's double up the points. Here we go. What was Abraham Lincoln's job before he became president? No answer on the board. We're looking for lawyer or attorney. In the MLB, the Padres represent what city? Mr. Keating. San Diego. San Diego is right. What is 12 multiplied by 3? Miss, uh, Miss Nelson. 36. 36 is right. Connecticut and Rhode Island are bordered by what U.S. state to the north? Tyler. Massachusetts. There he is. And how about it, students? You're tasting that 10 points. Zoe Zebra, Susie Sheep, and Rebecca Rabbit are friends of the main character on what animated show? CJ. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig is right. He looks like a big Peppa Pig fan. <laughs> In the hand game, rock, paper, scissors. What beats rock? Miss Moore. Paper. Paper is right. Look at the eyes. Whoa. On June 21st, 1788, what U.S. state became the ninth to ratify the Constitution, which was necessary to make the document the law of the land? Tyler. Pennsylvania. Good guess. Incorrect. Teachers for the steal. New Hampshire was the answer. And that is it for Pop Quiz. Everybody's got some points on both sides here. Teachers get 50 points, and everybody's smiling over there. Students, great job with you. Nice start. TJ, are you a big Peppa Pig fan? You got to answer now. No. Do you have a little brother and sister? Yeah. That's exactly right. So by default, you are a huge Peppa Pig fan. Hey, today, we have the students and teachers from Pfeiffer Middle School in Pensalkin, New Jersey. What do you say we meet some of these team members? Hi, my name is CJ. I'm in eighth grade. I play sports. I run student activities, and I'm an honor roll. Hi, my name is NJ Lean, and... I've been in chorus for four years. I'm in eighth grade, and the teachers are definitely going to lose. Hi, my name is Tyler. I'm in eighth grade. Uh, I recently, uh, I am in the boys' soccer team, and also I'm in chorus, and I am an AB um, honor roll student. Hi, my name is Ms. Moore. I teach sixth grade math, and the students are going down today. Hi, my name is Ms. Nelson. I'm the chorus director and eighth grade dean, and all I do is win, 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 no matter what. My name is Mr. Keating. I teach eighth grade English, and I hope the students know how to spell defeat because they're about to face one. <laughs> That was professional level trash talk by the teachers right there. And let me just say for the CJ said, I know how to spell defeat and it's not happening today, right? Do you want to send him to detention for saying that to you? Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's do that.
Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Okay, I'm going to start with the trailing team. Let's play a little detention. 40 points on the board here. Students, you can take the lead. Let's do this thing. I'm going to give you the category first. Your choice, pass or play, social studies. We're going to play. Here you go. What is the exploration term for sailing or traveling all the way around the world? You can talk about it. To sail all the way across the world. I don't know. <laughs> the answer was circumnavigate. That one ring a bell. Yeah, they're like, we got you now. Unfortunately, teachers, well, or fortunately for you guys, you get to send one of them to detention. Before we send it, let time. We're going to send Tyler. Tyler, our math man. He loves math. He's in eighth grade. But now he's thinking about it while he's in detention. And we move on. All right, teachers, we go back to you guys. Let's see if we can put some more people in detention with your category of math. A lot of pressure if you get it wrong, if you're a math teacher. Okay, we'll play it. We're going to play it. Here you go. What type of diagram typically consists of partially overlapping circles to show relationship, mainly similarities and differences between two or more groups or concepts? A Venn diagram. A Venn diagram is right, and teachers do what they need to do. Jaylene or CJ, who's it going to be? CJ. CJ. CJ out of the game, leaving Jaylene. All right, CJ and Tyler, you guys sit right there. Jaylene, now here's the good news. The category is yours, and you're in control of your own fate here. And plus, you look awesome in bandanas. That's the second good news. So let's see how well you do with this category, animals. I'm play. You're going to play? Mm -hmm. Here you go. I love that confidence out of you. What large mammals native to southern Asia and Africa are known for having one or two horns on their noses? Yes? Uh, Could, I don't think so. Couldn't get it done. Rhinoceros is what we were um, looking for. Jalen, I hate to do this to you. You're going to detention. <laughs> CJ Tyler are already there. And teachers, you guys just got 40 points added to your score. Brings you up to 90. We got a game on our hands. Grab your markers and stay where you are. Southern Oregon Test is going to be showing off their creative side when we come back. Teachers who fight for middle school in Camden County. I'm saying there's one thing about this school, and that's culture. What makes like what makes your school so amazing? It seems like every person just keeps smiling. Well, you know, it's a cool school. You know, we have a bunch of clubs and sports. It's fun. Top notch. Ready to roll? Mm -hmm. What do you say? You ready to keep playing? Yeah. Do you think she can win our class? We're about to find out. Jaylene's up first. <laughs> Okay, here's how this game will work. Each team selected one player to draw. The trailing team will go first. Jaylene, you ready to do this? She's got a smile on her face, so I think she might be. She's going to select a card with a word or a phrase hidden on the inside. You're going to have five seconds to draw, then her teammates will have ten seconds to make one guess. Correct answer here in the first round is 30 points. Now, you guys need these points after a detention loss. Do you think you can get it on the first round? Let's do colors. What do you say? Blue. Red or blue? Blue. Uh, you take the blue. You stand back here. Now, if you don't get it on the first try, I'll give you a few more tries, but that first round is going to be super fast. You're going to have five seconds only. Okay, that is your word. I love that topic for you. Five seconds. Good luck starts right now. 
Jaylene's off to the races. CJ Tyler, you guys are looking at the back of this art class board. Stop right there. Oh, I'm going to tell you right now, we've been doing this a while. This might be the best drawing I've ever seen in five seconds. What are we looking at? Talk about it. A washing machine. Give her those 30 points. That's incredible. Jaylene, you are unbelievable. Miss Nelson, you get up here. We're switching that out. Five seconds. That was the best five second drawing I've ever seen. Jaylene, you can go sit down. I'm going to give you this red card. You can look at your word. Miss Moore, Mr. Keating puts a little bit of pressure on you guys now. Okay, you got it? Here we go. Starts right now. Go. Five seconds. All right. Okay, and she's done. Here we go. She's two seconds. What are we looking at? A leaf. Nelson, you couldn't use the extra time, but I love the confidence. A leaf? A leaf is right. Yeah, 30 seconds. 30 points gets added to their score as well. I'll tell you what Pfeiffer Middle School does have. It's some incredible artists. And because they were so good in that round, I'm going to give an opportunity for even more points. Extra credit. Let's do it. Ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during their commercial break to write down their answers. Hopefully they get it right. If they do, it'll be 10 points for their team. Here's the question. What is the name of the youngest of all of Winnie the Pooh's 100-acre wood friends? That's an incredible question. All right, maybe you're a Winnie the Pooh fan, maybe you're not. But either way, 10 points is on the line. And we come back, we'll see how well they do. We'll see you right after the break. Winnie the Pooh. Welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Fight for Middle School in Camden County. Teachers, big round for you guys in the last one gets you to 120, but students, I'm loving the game you're playing. Slow and steady, and then you're going to get them here in the next round, right? 50 points on the board for you guys after a great art class round as well. Before the break, we finished it up with a little bit of extra credit, because everybody loves a little extra credit, and I asked this question. What is the name of the youngest of all of Winnie the Pooh's 100 Acre Wood Friends? CJ, we had a tough break there. I said, you ever see Winnie the Pooh? You said? Nope. Nope. But I'll tell you what, I'm sure you took a guess. What'd you guys say? We're going to go with Eeyore. Uh, Eeyore would have said that exactly the same way you did right there. <laughs> did not get the points there. And teachers, Miss Moore? We went with Roo. Roo is exactly who it is. The little kangaroo. Hey, it's your homework, this team. Go home and watch Winnie the Pooh. But I'll tell you, I'll give you more homework here. If you guys win this game, which is a strong possibility, you can still do this here. Where's that 500 going to go? Um, end of the year student activities. So I'm talking like a big old party. <laughs> Moon bounces, popcorn machines, cotton candy. Jaylene, you like that idea? All right, nice. I think we just planned a party here for $500. And teachers, if you win it, team some team building for the staff i love that get the teachers together well guys both sides love it money's going to good places we're going to keep this game going we're going to crown a victor with picture day <laughs> grab your buzzers we're going to show you all a picture of a famous person place or thing that we covered with boxes i'll give you three clues one at a time with each clue we'll remove three more of those boxes. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify that picture, gets 10 points added to their team. If you get it wrong, your whole side's locked out. So let's just agree not to get it wrong. And the other side can buzz in and steal. Three pictures today. Let's jump right into the first one. Give me the photo, cover them with boxes, and I'll give you that clue. They're identical twins. Buzzers in hands, just in case you guys know the right answer. Here we go. Clue number two. I'm going to give you three more boxes. Here we go. These sisters appeared in their mother's online hair tutorials when they were younger. Buzzers stay silent. We move here to clue three. They launched a YouTube channel called Squared, filled with content created only by twins. No right answers on this question. We're looking for Brooklyn and Bailey McKnight. If you need to know how to do hair, those two are the ones to tell you how to do it. And we move on to photo 
two, let's keep it rolling. This person was a major character in a Disney animated film. Tough one here. Clue two, three more boxes. Let's see if we can do it here. He helped establish the first permanent English colony in the New World at Jamestown, Virginia. First one in, Mr. Keating. John Smith. Is that John Smith? That sure is John Smith, your boy J-Dub. John Smitty Smith. All right, guys, we moved to picture three. That's going to get you 10 points up to 140. Here we go. This person's real name is Rain. Wow. Not a lot there. Let's see how we do with this. This athlete likes to wear bow ties. You talk about my bow tie. And here's the last one. Let's do it. He's the starting quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. Mr. Keating. Dak Prescott. Is that Dak Prescott? That is Dak Prescott, quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. How about that one? His real name is Rain? I've never picked Rain Prescott in my fantasy league ever. All right, guys, both teams, you guys are playing a great game. 150, 50. This game's going to final exam. Here we go. All right, CJ, Jaylene, Tyler, how do you guys feel about royalty? That's the excitement we were looking for out of those three. Hopefully you love it, because that's the topic today in our final exam. Each correct answer you guys get right about royalty is going to be 100 points added to your score. All right, you're going to put your heads together, work as a team during the commercial break. Before we even get there, I'm going to give you these questions. Here they are. Question one, royalty. According to legend, what royal led the Knights of the Round Table and wielded the sword called Excalibur? Question two in royalty. This one gets a little bit tougher. Queen Hatshepsut was one of the first women to rule as Pharaoh in what ancient civilization? And finally, question three on royalty. A little bit easier to say. On August 8th, 2018, Nintendo announced that King K. Rule will be a playable character in what video game from the Nintendo Switch? There are your questions. 100 points each. Students are ready to go. It's the final exam. They're geared up. They're teachers. Well, they're ready to say, not today, kids, because we reign supreme. They're the royalty. Who's going to win this thing? I'm telling you, we're going to find out after this. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today, it's the students and teachers who fight for middle school, and the game is on. Teachers, 150 for you. Students, one question away from tying this up. You got 50 on the board. We have 300 points left up for grabs, and we learned that the topic of today's final exam is royalty. Now, I consider this school a little bit of royalty. Fight for you guys are incredible. Miss Nelson, it seems like every single person in this school, all they do is just smile. What makes you guys so special? More importantly, yeah. what's the secret ingredient? Well, our school is dynamic and diverse and very welcoming, and I think we have some of the best teachers and students in the state, period. Not to mention a principal who gives us dress down days. Hey, okay. I can get behind those dress down days. Maybe we'll have one in the classroom someday. Now, CJ, if you come back and win this thing, $500 goes into your pocket. You get a big old check. But, I mean, how are you going to celebrate? Well, I'm going to go out to eat with my family. That's it. That's exactly what a kid should do to go celebrate. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's see if you can come back from behind. Let's play. According to legend, what royal led the Knights of the Round Table and wielded the sword called Excalibur? Students, we're going to start with you, Tyler. You're an eighth grader. You love math. Do you love social studies? Yeah, kind of. All right, let's find out how well you did with this answer. You said... Columbus? Incorrect. Hold it right there. Mr. Keating, what did you say? 
King Arthur. In very big letters, King Arthur is right. Woo! Get you to 250. Now, students, you are not out of this game yet. You get these next two right, and the teachers miss them. This game's yours. So let's stay positive as we move to this one. Queen Hatshepsut was one of the first women to rule as the pharaoh in what ancient civilization? Students, we're gonna go here. Jaylene, let's see if you can do it. Ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt is right! She keeps this game alive! Tyler, you had a hand in that right answer there? Uh-huh. Yeah, all right, so we got the whole team there. CJ, Jaylene, Tyler. Now look, if they get this wrong, you guys are one question away from taking this and sending it into overtime. Look out, ladies. Now, Miss Nelson, if you get this right, the game's over, and you take that $500 back, and you guys are bonding as a faculty. Did you say Egypt? Bam. Egypt is right. 350 to 150. Teachers are the big winners. On August 8th, Nintendo King Our Cool is coming out, and you can play it on Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That was the answer for the third one. Both sides had it right. Right now, we had another great day on the classroom. I want to see your school here. So go sign up, and we'll see you right here in studio to play on the classroom. The fun continues wherever you are. Follow the classroom on social.